In Etrian Odyssey 3, you have the freedom to create your own team. You've only got five slots, so you'll have to choose carefully when you're taking characters into battle. You'll start by choosing from ten new classes. Prince or Princess, Gladiator, Hoplite, Buccaneer, Ninja, Monk, Zodiac, Wildling, Arbalist, and Farmer. Each class has its own skills, which you can develop by spending the skill points you earn when you level up. You won't have enough skill points to learn everything, so think carefully. Will your hoplite focus on shield or spear mastery? Should you trade some of your monk's healing potential for damage output? The same classes can be played differently depending on how you shape them. A new feature of Etrian Odyssey 3 is limit skills, class neutral abilities that are assigned to multiple party members. Once your limit gauge builds up to maximum by participating in battle, you can unleash these at the start of a turn. There are many character builds and party combinations capable of uncovering what lies beneath the city of Armorod, but care must be taken to ensure you can survive the innumerable dangers hidden in the Abyssal Depths. Stay tuned for our next video short, which takes you across the high seas for a closer look at naval exploration. Etrian Odyssey 3 The Drowned City releases on September 21st, 2010, exclusively for Nintendo DS.